Yes, you be grateful folk in the house. Thank God for another day's journey. He's kept us. It's the grace of the Lord that brought us this far. Thank God for those of you who are present again. And we thank God for those who have tuned us in by way of Facebook and YouTube. We thank God for you. And uh, we ask, as always, if you can be a blessing to this ministry, sow a season to the, this great ministry. Praise God. You can go to our website, www.truevinemdchurch.org. And go to the contribution page and give as God has blessed you to give. Praise the Lord. Uh, if you want to be a blessing to the pastor, you can go to Zell, 708-612-8700, or use Cash App, R-E-V-S-D-L, Reverend S-D-L. To those who are needful of prayer, we're praying for you, we're praying with you. We want you to know that God is not through blessing you. Call our prayer line, 708-385-1132. We will pray with you and pray for you. Praise be unto God. Thank God. Uh, I want to announce that uh, on January 29th, the fifth Sunday of this month at 3.30 p.m., Minister Phantom Williams will preach our first official public sermon. Be part of this great occasion. God is still blessing us and taking us forward. Also, we have a, a card that says, Thank you, my true vine family. Thanks for your kindness and thoughtfulness. Hope you know how very much you're appreciated and what a difference you make. God bless each of you. Again, I say a big thank you. Loving you all very much, Mother Teresa Newton. God bless you all. Thank you. All right, let's go forth in praise with our praise team. Receive them under the direction of our own sister, Hope Lewis.
down the right. And praise the Lord. It's prayer time as we petition the throne of grace. I want you to know that we're praying. We're praying for you. Sister Leona Griffin, we're praying for your strength. Sister Heather Smith, we're glad to see you today. We're praying for you. Shirley, Sister Ruthie McShane, and Sister Michelle Wynn, Brother Corbin McShane, Brother Allen Ray Ray King, Sister Louise King Elston, Sister Teresa Matthew, Sister De Deborah Shegog, Sister Clara Blaze, we're praying for you, Sister Blaze, Sister Deborah McCarter, Sister Sheila Dunnett, Sister Evelyn Keener, you're yet in our prayers. Sister Ann Davis, Sister Ethel Bowling, and we're praying for young brother Kenneth Brown Jr. I'm gonna ask Reverend West, would you make your way as we petition the throne of grace? There's nothing too hard for God. God can do. the power. Come on, say it one time. God in this 
world. God, we've seen it going through. We've seen things on top of things happening, Lord. God, we saw not just the other day people are getting shot for no reason at all. But God, you've seen them through. We saw car accidents happening, but you allowed us to get here. God, we saw that some of us were in the hospital just on last week. But God, we're here today. God, we know that whatever's going in our bodies, we know that you are in control of everything. Every disease, every malefactor, God. We know that you can speak a word, God, and everything will be all right. On this year, God, we know that we got some challenges going on in our bodies. But God, we can look to the hills from which comes our help. Because all our help coming from the Lord. God, we say thank you for what you've already done. Thank you, God, for what you're yet doing. Thank you, God, for what you're going to do on tomorrow. Right now, God, someone is coming to the throne of grace. And they need a little mercy right now. You know what they need, God. We don't know, but you know all about it. And God, right now, we're asking a special blessing upon each and every person that's here in our midst today. Those that's listening and watching on the YouTube or Facebook, God, we're praying for them right now. You know their concerns, God. We ask that you would move and have your way, God, because you are in control. Thank you, God, for being sovereign. Thank you, God, for watching over us. Thank you, God, for moving in our behalf when we didn't know what to do. But, God, you saw fit for us to still be here. We say thank you. God, we have 10,000 tongues. We couldn't thank you enough. We thank you for True Mind Missionary Baptist Church, the church that's been sitting here for a number of years, the church that people look to come to to receive a blessing, to receive an anointing. Let your breeze fall on us, God. Oh, God, can't nobody do us like you. We say thank you, Lord God. We're praying for our pastor. We know he's been through some trials and tribulations for 2022. But greater is coming. Father God, you said greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Touch Pastor Lewis' mind. Touch his heart, God. Strengthen him where he's weak and build him up where he's torn down. Bless his church family, God. Allow us to come together on one accord. Allow us to seek you, God. Allow us to receive the blessings of the Lord, which make it this rich, and Adam don't start to do it. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. We love you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We say thank you, God, for 2023. Through all the trials and tribulations, we know that joy has come in the morning. We speak joy right now to each and every one, God. We speak peace right now, God, to everyone. We speak a mind regulator to everyone. We speak joy in the mind, God. We burn the enemies right now in the name of Jesus. And we count all depression, all suicidal thoughts, all things that are not of you, God, in the name of Jesus and thrown into the fiery pits of hell. God, you said there's no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Oh, God, move right now by your command. God, we will give your name to praise, not just today, but forevermore, because you are God, and there is no one like you. Help us, God, as we receive the word of God on today. Allow it to minister to our hearts and our minds. Allow us to seek you, God, and receive the Holy Spirit, which is within us. Lord, we love you. We're praying for those that are bereaved families right now. We're praying for those that have a, a mental problem right now. We're praying for those that have a sickness right now. We're praying for those that are going through some trials and tribulations financially. We're praying for those that don't even know what to do. But we know, God, we can call on the name of Jesus. And everything will be all right. God, we love you. We adore you. We honor you. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive us of our sins. We know we're not all that. But you are God. Give us what we need when we need it. We will give your name the praise. 
today and forevermore. In the mighty, matchless, wonderful name of Jesus the Christ, we ask it all with thanksgiving. And the people of God said, Amen. And the people of God said, Amen. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise to everybody.
27, we'll consider verses 7 through 9. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou sayest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. I want to talk today about the face of God. The face of God. Speak now, God. We're waiting to hear from you. Bless your people everywhere. And use this your vessel. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And all the people said, Amen. Amen. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. On this first day of the new year of 2023, it's usual and customary that people make promises and resolutions. And that's okay, that's okay. I'm not against that. And if you're going to make a resolution, I think one of the better resolutions you can make is to, this year, seek God's face more than you have before. Lord, seek let me seek your face. Now, there's significance in his face. When we think of a person or hear their name, we think of their face. Mm -hmm. The face stands for the unique identity of a person. When you take pictures, you take pictures of people's face. You don't take pictures of the back of the head. You can't identify them. You don't take pictures of their elbows or their feet. But you take pictures of their face. Because each face has a unique identity. Artists, when they paint, they paint pictures of people's faces. There's something unique about the face of God. Something unique about his face. And when you're seeking his face, don't settle for somebody else's description. Get your own description of what his face is. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 5 and 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. They shall see God's face. And we're not talking about literally seeing God with our, our physical eyes. Jesus explained to the woman at the well that God is spirit. Yeah. 
In John 4, 24, Paul, Paul said, God is spirit and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So God is spirit. He, he doesn't have a physical face that we can see, but he is spiritual. So if you want to see his face, you must be spiritual. Are you listening to me? Understand that no man has seen God at any time. And that's, that's what John said in John 1 and 18. He said, no man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he had declared him. So if you want to seek God, you've got to seek his Son, who had declared who God is. Jesus, the express image of the Father. Uh -huh. And so, if you cannot seek God's face and bypass Jesus, right. Amen. there must be a relationship. Amen. There must be a, a connection. Mm -hmm. You must be in Christ. Yes, right. And when you're in Christ, yes. then you can seek His face. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you want to see God's face. Part of Cain's curse was to be exiled from the face of God. All right. Go ahead, preacher. In Genesis 4, 13 and 14, Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Yes, sir. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth and from thy face. Yes, which I shall be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And so Cain understood that I cannot live without seeing your face. The face of God stands for the point of attention. Yeah. When thou says, seek ye my face. It reveals the heart of God. The heart of God desires fellowship All right, right. and friendship uh -huh. yes, sir. Yes, sir. with mankind. Yes, sir, you're right. God wants to have a relationship with us. It's been severed. It's been broken. And so he's inviting us, seek my face. God, God is willing to be known. Amen. Amen. God is not some mystical creature that only a few folk know about. God wants you. You, you, you who's going to sleep right now. God wants you to have a relationship with him. He wants to be known with you and by you. Praise the Lord. God delights not to hide himself. And so, so I want to talk about his face. His face is the source of his sin. Yeah. Jeremiah said, for mine eyes are upon all thy, their ways. They are hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from mine eyes. When you seek his face, you're seeking how he sees and his perception of everything. God will reveal his will and his way Amen. when you see his face. His face is not only the source of his seeing, his face is the source of his hearing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isaiah said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy. Uh huh. That it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Amen. And your sins have hid his face yes. from you. Yes. That he will not hear. Yeah. His face. Not only the source of his seeing and the source of his hearing, it's also the source of his glory. Oh, yeah. That's too good for me to make up. It's in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. But Moses asked God to reveal his glory. Yeah. And uh, notice what God said in, in Exodus 33rd chapter. 
He said, and he said, I beseech thee, show me your glory. And God said to him, thou cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. But God told Moses, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll make a cleft in the rock. I'll split the rock and have you go in that cleft. And I'll hide you. I'll cover my hand over because you can't see my face. And when I pass by, I'll let you see my hinder part. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that's what the songwriter came up with the words. Rock of ages. Cleft for me. Let me hide ah, myself in thee. Thank God for being a cliff. And when you he'll let you see his face, because his, his face is his glory. But also his face is a sign of his displeasure. Oh. When God ever turns his face away from you, that's a horrible day in the life of that person. Uh, Peter said, in Peter 3 and 12, he said, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. You, you cannot see God's face when you're intent on doing evil. And God always punishes evil. Amen. Wickedness will not stand in his face. Hallelujah. David said in Psalm 51, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness. That the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. And this is what he said. Hide not thy face from my sin. Hide thy face from my sin. And blot out all my iniquities. Create in me. A clean heart, O oh Lord. And renew the right spirit within me. Yeah, yeah, God, God, when you seek his face, he'll clean you up. I wish I had somebody here. Seeking his face. The face of God means that uh, he's no longer a, a power. When you seek his face, he's not only a presence, but when you seek his face, he becomes a person. <laughs> he becomes real. He becomes real. He's a real person. Seeking the face of God through the eyes of faith is an understanding of his essence. Thank you, God. I can really understand. I can understand you. And when you seek his face, you cannot seek his face looking selfishly. Is that right? You cannot seek his face. Lord, Lord, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. I need. Oh, Lord. Not my mother, not my father. It's me. It's me, oh, Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. When you, when you seek his face, you got to understand that it's not about you. Mm. It's, it's not, you've got to break your will. If you seek his face, it's not about your wants, your desires. It's not about how you feel about things. But seeking his face means I'm open, Lord, to your perfect will. And whatever you want me to do, I'm willing to do it. Even if it hurts me, I want to please you. The conditions of seeking his face, Chronicle says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. That's the condition of seeking this faith. Humble yourself and pray. You got to call on the Lord. You, you got to seek him and, and, and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. Then 
will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. And I will heal their land. Humble yourself. Take yourself down a notch or three. And say, Lord, I, I'm nothing without you. Can't live without you. Can't breathe without you. Can't move without you. You're my everything. So I submit. I submit myself. Yeah, the conditions of seeking his face. But then there also should be a continuation of seeking his face. You just can't seek his face when you want something. But you ought to continually seek his face. No one knows the perfect will of God without talking to him. <laughs> Amen. And every day he'll change what you must do. The writer of an invitation said, new mercies I see every day. Every day you got something else for me to do, something new. A new way to walk, a new way to think, a new way to see things. Thank you, God, for seeking your face. And uh, let me close by saying there's satisfaction in seeking his face. When we, when we see the face of God, several things are bound to happen. God uses his face to communicate in several ways. And one thing is certain. When we see his face, marvelous things will take place. Yeah. Good things will happen when you see his face. And that's what I want. Uh, that satisfaction in his statue. David said, make thy face to shine upon the servant. Teach me thy statutes. When you seek his face, he'll make you love his word. <laughs> when you seek his face, he'll make you have a hunger to understand more of what he said already. Everybody looking for a new word, a new word. There's plenty of word right here. Amen. Seek him and let him reveal to you what he understands about your life and what he wants you to do. There's satisfaction with his salvation. Lord, I'm glad you saved me. J Jacob called the name of the place Peniel in, in Genesis 32. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. Yeah, yeah. God will save you and you ought to thank God for saving you. You ought to seek his face just for, for salvation. And Lord knows you, he saved me. He has delivered me many times. He delivered you. You came through 2022. You didn't know. You could have been dead. You should have been dead. Amen. Some, sometimes we were up, sometimes down. Sometimes we were ugly. Sometimes we had bad attitudes. We were downright nasty. Amen. Sometimes you have a dirty mouth. Sometimes you have dirty thoughts. Praise be unto God. But God delivered you. God didn't strike you down. Last night was not your last night. Amen. Thank God that he let me see another day. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for holding me. That's the benefits of seeking his face. Yeah, yeah, there's satisfaction in his spirit. And then there's also satisfaction in his sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, then Daniel said, For therefore, O Lord, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplication, and cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. Thank God for his sanctuary. Thank God for the church. Thank God for a place where I can come and really seek his face because this place has been designated to house the presence of God. And if I can't see him at home, if I can't see him on my job, 
If I can't see him in my community, I can rest assured if I can get to the sanctuary, I will see God's face. Thank you. Thank you for the church. Where would I be if it wasn't for the church? Well, it's so touch, yeah, yeah. If, if I can only see his face, that's what I want. Lord, Lord, let me, let me see your face. I know it gets dark in your life sometimes. I know sometimes you feel like giving up. Sometimes you're tired, you're weary, you're sick. Amen. You're tired of the same thing. And if it ain't the same thing, it's another thing that keeps coming to you. But I come to tell you, see God's face. And if you can only see his face, good things will happen. If I can see you, if I can see you, I know everything is going to be all right. If I can only see his face, Lord, just get me, let me see your face. And when I see your face, I, I know that you're here. I know that you're presence. And don't you know in his presence, there's fullness of joy. And at his right hand, yeah, yes, God, there's pleasures forevermore. Let me see you, then I can feel better. Let me see you, and I know I can walk right if I can see him. Yeah. the face of God. This year, this year, seek his face and don't let this moment pass you by. Lord, we thank you for your word. We praise you. We give you all the glory. Now, thank you for touching and speaking to us today. Bless your people everywhere. Let those who don't know you accept you as Savior. We trust you and we thank you in Jesus name Amen Praise God, praise God To those who are viewing, we're going to sign off now but we want you to know we always thank God for you and we continually bless you with Jesus joy
Ja, ja, ja.